to show you guys real quick our grocery haul that we got today. And I feel like it's a pretty dang solid grocery haul. I'm really, really aiming for, as I told you guys, whole food. So I'm aiming for as many fruits and veggies and whole food, plant-based, of course, sources as I possibly can get. So I'm gonna go through this with you guys and I'm gonna tell you all how much it was. So we got my favorite, the cashew milks. Matt's not eating enough fruits and veggies, so we're gonna try out this green goodness. I know they add some extra sugars in there. There's a good amount of produce in here as well as some spirulina, green tea, barley grass, wheatgrass, all of that good stuff. So if you're not getting in your fruits and veggies and eating them, adding them, in smoothie slash juice form is a pretty good way to go. Matt did want a vegan pizza, uh, margarita pizza tonight with a beer, so we got those. Those are the more pricey and of course processed things that we got this week, so not too bad. So I got tempeh, I love tempeh, and I hope you guys enjoyed the recipe video that I put up this week for y'all. Extra firm tofu. My favorite. I'm gonna make some lasagna later this week as well as some fettuccine, so I got some garlic pasta sauce. This hummus made easy, love this stuff. So you just blend this with garbanzo beans and it tastes just like the stuff that you buy already made. This is 72 cents and this was like $1.50, so it makes a lot for a lot less. Black eyed peas along with these chickpeas. Powdered peanut butter, so this is just the equivalent of PB2, but as you can see, it's a lot cheaper. I think this was six dollars in total for all of this so better than the actual jar of pb2 roasted garlic and olive oil couscous lots and lots of fresh broccoli that i will be steaming bananas red lentils and this entire bag was 90 cents blackberries cabbage that i'm going to shred up myself versus buying the package kind because it's way more expensive. This was 42 cents. Cauliflower, we got some kale, carrots, mushrooms, zucchini for my zucchini oats, pears and apples, and then I got a uh, fabric softener, but that doesn't, doesn't really count. The total for all of this, you guys, we've got $79.50. So, Eating healthy, eating vegan does not have to be crazy expensive as you guys can see behind me. And this should last us a good week, if not a little bit longer. So got lots of good stuff. And then I'm gonna talk to you guys more about my goals right now and my whole whole foods um, approach that I'm working on uh, in just a second, but I'm gonna show you dinner first. So this is a big skillet mixture of garlic, mushroom, kale, spinach, and then I threw in one of the Morning Star Farms uh, quinoa patties, the little burger patties, which are really, really good. A bunch of steamed broccoli, and then I also have a one serving of oats, and this is the True Nutrition Vanilla Birthday Cake Oats, I believe, with one pear cooked in there with it. So, pretty delicious dinner. Whole foods! So they're whole, they're in like whole form. This is whole broccoli. I guess the oats aren't really whole. 